Nothing will save you more time in Excel than learning the shortcut keys. You can toggle between any open application in Windows by doing Alt-Tab, and that will show all the different things that are open at the moment. But did you know you can also toggle just between Excel sheets, which is Control-Tab, and that will toggle between any open workbooks that you've got open. Control tab. You can go from sheet to sheet in Excel by clicking Control page down to move to the sheet one to the right or Control page up to move one to the left. To navigate around an Excel sheet without a mouse, use the arrow keys with either control or shift depending on what you want to do so control up moves to the top of your selection control right to the end of it control down control left control up again but if you hold down shift you highlight as you go control to the right highlights to the right control down highlights everything down control left and let's back up there and then control up in this case would do that now if you are outside of data areas and you do this control right will take it all the way to the end of the spreadsheet and control left will take you to the nearest data and that works in all directions control down control up again control up also if you hit control home, you'll go to the top left of the spreadsheet and control end will go to the last populated cell on the spreadsheet. But will also, if a cell has previously been populated, it will also highlight that. Again, control shift home will highlight to there. And then you can then go control shift left, control shift down to highlight that area. Once you've done control home, you can also do control end to get everything highlighted. To select an entire row on Excel, simply hold shift and space. And there you go. To do it for a column, it is control and space. Sometimes the formula bar just won't fit the text you need in it. And so Control shift u will expand the formula bar so you can read everything that's in there, whether it be a long formula or a long piece of text. And Control shift u again will close it. Also, if you want more space on your screen, Control f one will collapse the ribbon and allow you to see perhaps totals at the bottom. Control f one again will put it back. I hope you found something new in amongst all those shortcut keys. I've pulled together this one page cheat sheet of all the everyday essential Excel shortcuts. I'm giving this away today completely free. Just click on the link and I'll send you this straight away. Don't waste any more time in Excel. Get this free cheat sheet right now. Click the link.